Classical conditioning is the idea that we learn through association. It is when we associate an unconditioned stimulus with a neutral stimulus. An unconditioned stimulus is something that causes an automatic response with no learning having happened. For example, a loud noise causes fear in a baby. The baby doesn't learn to be scared and cry, it's a natural response. This response is therefore called an unconditioned response. A neutral stimulus is a stimulus that has no specific natural response. When a neutral stimulus is repeatedly paired with an unconditioned stimulus, we form an association between them. For example, by pairing a loud noise with a rat. For a baby, a loud noise is an unconditioned stimulus, which results in the unconditioned response of fear, and a rat is neutral. Once the association has formed between these two stimuli, the neutral stimulus can cause the same response as the unconditioned stimulus. In the example of the rat and the loud noise, in the example of the rat and the loud noise, once an association has formed between the two stimuli, the rat can cause the same fear that was originally caused by the noise. The neutral stimulus becomes conditioned. This essentially means a response has been learned. In this example, we can now call the rat a conditioned stimulus and fear a conditioned response. A strength of this theory is that it can be used for many different types of therapy, such as electric shock therapy, which causes someone to associate certain behaviours with the discomfort of an electric shock. However, the main limitation is that it can only explain a small number of behaviours that are natural, such as reflexes. Advertisers use classical conditioning to influence consumers to buy their products. For example, they use certain colours and sounds to cause an unconditioned response that they want consumers to associate with their brand, such as happiness or nostalgia. Consumers therefore buy the brand to get the same emotional response.